<laughs> oh, what fun. Today at WDSU, a party fit for a queen. The Zulu Tramps bringing a second line to the station to send Margaret Orr off in style. You gotta love it. Margaret <laughs> says this is one of the things that she'll miss the most, dancing in the streets with them on Mardi Gras Day. Yeah, and Margaret Orr has had a lot of titles over the years as in her career as Chief Meteorologist, of course, and then Queen, the GOAT, the greatest goat. of all time, <laughs> and the Oracle, the Icon. I mean, the list goes on and on. But the most important one now is Ma Meg. WDSU anchor Randy Russo shares a glimpse of the small but major forces that ultimately convinced Margaret to retire. It's Margaret Orr has certainly worn her fair share of hats or wigs over the years. It is moving now to the Northwest. She's been the comforting voice for all of us during a storm. It's about living. It's about celebrating life. That ray of sunshine on the parade route. But to the youngest and most important people in her life. My leg has seeds. Okay, put one right there. And um, we put them in the ground. She's Ma Meg. I just want to be with my family and hug them and love them and see them walk. Are you going to walk one day? Her three young grandchildren are sprouting, blossoming just as quickly as her career in TV. And these moments with them. It smells really good are ones she wants to cherish. This is the purpose of my retirement, is truly to be with my grandchildren and my children. and my. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> For 45 years, Margaret Orr has pulled double, even triple duty as a meteorologist, a mother, a wife, and now a grandmother. I mean, how lucky am I? I've got three children, a wonderful husband, and oh, three, three grandchildren. Children. I know, three grandchildren. And that's who I'm going to be spending my time with. Time she knows she won't get back. And so all of a sudden I realized I can't go to the baseball games. I can't go, you know, and do a lot of things with them because I work so much. And I went, it's time. It's time. It's time for me to spend time with my family because I missed with my children. I don't want to miss with my grandchildren. Her son Alden remembers what it was like growing up. To the public, she's Margaret Orr. And to me, she's mom. Knowing his mom was working those early mornings and then late nights. Coming home from school, coming home from swim practice. I remember when she was getting up early, it was be quiet. Walking in at 6 p.m., it was, shh, be quiet, mom's asleep. And we had to be quiet at 6 p.m. But he recognized at a young age how extraordinary she was and is. Um, I think I was there when, when the Margador fan club started at Della Chase and being like a six-year-old and seeing men dressed up as my mom, when she would broadcast from Della Chase in St. Charles, that, that was interesting. Seeing the dance group that dresses up as her now, that's, I get a kick out of that. And um, it's been going on for a long time, so I'm used to it, but I still laugh. He now gets laughs and joy out of watching his mom interact with his own children. What's your favorite book? <laughs> Investigators. I know he reads lots of books. So, what else are you reading right now? Agents of Suit. Agents and the beginners of and the Beginner's Bible. Oh, and the, oh, we bought that at Barnes and Noble, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Barnes and Noble's one of their favorite outings, plus playing chef. What do you fix for Mom Meg when you go to your play kitchen? Uh, pizza. Yeah, we like pizza. Alden says he may even convince her to go back to work, just in a different capacity. Well. Here's the inside scoop. She's actually not retiring. She's making a career change to being a full-time babysitter. So uh, she might need a trade in the car and get a minivan. For Margaret, though, even on the job, she always felt at home because New Orleans and its people are her family, too. I'm from here. I consider the people here my family. So when I'm at work and there's severe weather, I'm taking care of my family. She's also encouraging everyone to stop and smell the roses, so to speak, or the petunias or snapdragons. My advice is live life fully, <laughs> completely, and be passionate about what you do. Because this place is like no other. Live life fully, celebrate life. We've got so much to celebrate here. And neither is Margaret Orr. Oh, 
Oh, I'm for clamped. I know. <laughs> We've been this way all weekend. We're celebrating you all weekend. It's been just such a joy and oh. honor to mm -hmm. celebrate you, our rainbow I after the storm, you. our Ooh. sunshine after the rain, <laughs> Margaret. It has just been an emotional roller coaster this week. It has, but don't you agree? My grandchildren are adorable. Oh, yeah. they are the best. Adorable. I see play dates. Mike is your grandkids. Oh, that, Hang that out would be in the so garden. much fun. And, and we plant sunflower seeds. Oh, but wait, I'm going to give you some seeds okay. to plant at home. Uh, yes. Okay, you we'll need do. to do that, okay. Junior. Okay. <laughs> I loved it when you said enjoy life and celebrate, stop and smell the roses. And you said your next career is taking care of the babies and running in the sprinklers. Oh, <laughs> and, and eating ice cream uh, in the afternoon. Let me tell you, those grandchildren love ice cream. I mean, I've got to make sure Brown's Velvet, you know, the vanilla and the chocolate in the freezer. Yeah, they go in and eat the, like, three things of chocolate in one. All right, y'all heard that. Margaret needs yep. a minivan. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, so um, weather. Look out the window. Sunset.